Mario, you are an international photographer and a worldwide renowned artist with permanent exhibition of your works 24 hours per day in the mass media. It was a wonderful experience to have you here in Berlin. The Berlin people had the comparison to see your works alongside the old masters. When we promenaded through the gallery of paintings, I enjoyed seeing you enjoying the masterpieces. The museum is not only a place to contemplate, but it's also a place to learn. So in a way, it has been my schooling to go to museums. I have trained myself by doing all the different lights that I've seen in painting that I've liked. I'm very instinctive when I do something. And then when I go back and look at all these paintings, I realize, oh, I noticed I learned this from here and I learned this from there, but I wasn't probably that conscious at the time. Your photographs are not only photocopies of reality, and most of your photographs are very sophisticated, calculated compositions. And the celebrated photographers are people that captured moments, like Cortés, for instance, that would find something that only lasts a second, and unless you saw it at that moment, you missed it. I want something to happen, so it looks like I just happened to walk by there and capture that picture. I don't like people to feel the effort that went into something, because I think if you feel the effort, the image becomes heavy. And I like images to be light. The same is true with the painting by Jan Vermeer. It's a painting with qualities which remind me very much of your work. It's full of lifestyle, it's full of sensuality, but it's not a perfect painting. It's like a moment. I like very much in this image that for sure there is a sort of seduction. The man to me has obviously just arrived because he has his hat and his cape. You know that the reason he's visiting is because there is something else going to happen than what is happening in the picture. There is a subtle moment of light on the table, on the wall behind the window and you can also see that there is another window because the musical instrument is lit from another angle, and I love these subtleties. When we visited the Mantegna painting, we made the comparison to the photography showing Naomi. In the Mantegna pictures, you have the characters in the front and the characters in the back. Like Mary is in the foreground, whilst Joseph is in the back. Joseph's expression determines what you almost feel for Mary. And I always have these characters because to me, in the back is where the interesting things are happening. You are showing your exhibition here at the Kulturforum. This place is totally devoted to European art, to European literature and music. The big geniuses are part of this place. I'm humbled this way by it because I don't necessarily feel I belong in that group because I haven't yet maybe done my major piece of work and I hope that it's going to come in the next 10 years that I will really get to produce the best of my work. <laughs>